do tonight to to finish off the game, and then we'll open up for questions for all three. I mean, it was a huge win for us. You know, something we had to prove that we come back after a big win and uh, stay focused. And that was something that was really important to us, especially important to us to, to us seniors. You know, we had a real tough stretch. You know, three games, three really good teams. We proved that we were mentally tough and physically tough enough to make that uh, trip to a real game. Um, they came out, you know, they had a lot, a lot of time to prepare. Now something we knew was going to happen. They're going to come out something we didn't recognize. But after we adjust, we uh, went through the really well. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Sorry. Um, but in the fourth quarter, it leaves a little bit of their taste in mouth from a defensive standpoint because it kind of collapsed. But, you know, again, we're happy to get this win. A win is a win against a great team like that. It's, it's a really great thing we accomplished. So uh, I'm, I'm happy. You know, we've got a lot of stuff to work on for these last two games. we got to stay focused. <clears throat> CJ, just talk about the offense in the second half. Seemed like you were able to drive it down, but not even punch it in. You know, credit to Georgia State. They're, they're a good football team, and uh, they made adjustments. And uh, we kicked ourselves in the foot a little bit. We had a couple of drives. We had a touchdown pass with a penalty downfield. Uh, we had a pass in the corner of the end zone. DB got his finger on it. But, uh, you know, we got what we wanted, but, you know, they're a good defense, and uh, they made some stops too. But uh, we just couldn't drive it in, and uh, our defense held uh, held up for us, and uh, we got the W. Talk about the run early in the game where you had a lot of space, <laughs> and uh, you could feel the wheels turning all the way in the press box. And you, what was on your mind? You know, they they brought the house on us, and uh, I made one guy miss. And I looked up, feel myself about 30 yards of green, and I'm just running, thinking, man, this is the longest run yet. And uh, I saw a corner coming from the right side, and uh, he got a little fast on me. Just slipped that grass as high over there on the, the right half, so <laughs> I slipped up a little bit. CJ, talk about uh, Ken Houston's play and, and how he stepped over, stepped up since uh, since since Brandon's gone down. You know, that's one thing we've always uh, pride ourselves on our depth. And uh, you know, B. Ross was a big loss to us, but you know, I think we all knew that when Ken came came up, that he could do the job. And you know, I think like Coach Jones said earlier, he's a quiet guy, but. You know, Kent works hard, and he's just always doing his job. You know, he's one of the toughest runners I've ever seen, always going downhill. And uh, credit to our line, they had a they had a great night, big holes for them, for him. And, uh, you know, he just he pounded that rock and was making people miss. Any other questions for the student athletes? Charlie, early in the game, they were uh, seemed to take advantage of linebackers dropping out and bringing stuff underneath. What was going on, and how did you adjust it? Well, uh, as I said earlier, they they had uh, had a lot, a lot of time to prepare. They probably saw a few weaknesses that we were letting the short stuff go. They took advantage of that in early in the game, but once we were able to make adjustments, we, we pretty much shut that down. Um, I got to give a lot of credit to the offense. They really you know held us in there and saved us in the fourth quarter. But uh, our coach did a great job of adjusting, and we just got to go keep uh, pressing on for these next two games. You talk about the different feel to these wins. It, it was blowout wins all the time in the last three weeks. It's been like a different story. Well, it's more of a feeling of accomplishment, you know. And it's, we really had to work for them, and it was really a test for us. And that's, you know, the coaches challenged challenge us to uh, really fight. And we knew it was going to be 60 minutes, uh, all these games. And uh, it really proved something about us. You know, it really proves to be that, you know, I'm really proud of these guys as a senior to uh, see how much we've matured as a team and be able to handle tough situations like that. And uh, it's, it's been amazing experience. Uh, offense has had our back when we've had problems and you had their back when they've had problems. It's really a great team building experience and it's just an amazing journey. Brian, well, the same question is about the feel of these wins the last few weeks and being so close. I mean, from an offensive standpoint, uh, we went in every game the last few weeks and we, we, we told ourselves to run and play South Alabama football. That point blank. Like, that's what we go into the game. We got our game plan. We're going to change it and play South Carolina football.